tell y'all what's going on with you. Hey, I just happened to be in Greenville, North Carolina, and uh, it's the middle of the afternoon. I got a little bit of dead time, so I thought I would go over to the boat launch on Port Terminal Road in Greenville and just see what was shaking, see if anybody was launching, see if there were any kayak fishermen out here, and also to show you this particular boat launch as well in case you're ever in the Greenville, North Carolina area and you would like to go fishing or just boating or just kayaking or canoeing in the Tar River. Now, I've got some videos of myself and my son in the Tar River and we love it. It's fun. So I'm pulling in now. I'm going to give you a little bit of a guided tour today. So it's Thursday afternoon and there's not a soul here. It's a beautiful day. I'm kind of surprised not to see a single truck and trailer. Kind of surprises me. But I'm on Port Terminal Road and I will leave address links in the description below so you can see exactly where I'm at. And what I like about this place, there's lots of parking. I mean, there is a tremendous amount of parking. It's well maintained. The ramps are great. The dock is good. Everything about this is really nice. The address is 940 Port Terminal Road and this uh, particular launch is maintained by North Carolina Wildlife and they do a great job here as most every other launch that they maintain in the state of North Carolina. Our wildlife people do a great job. There are two concrete drives that extend a little ways down into the water so bring your boat, bring your trailer. And they don't want you fishing from the dock, which is actually a good idea. I've been out here when it's kind of busy, and you do not want people out here fishing this dock while they're launching boats. The camera's not going to pick it up, but right there is a baby bass, and there's a lot of little minnows right there. Could actually throw a cast net, but there is, I can see a small bass and what looks to be a bluegill right there in the water. The main body of the river is that way, and it's only three, four hundred yards that way. But there's a lot of area right here if you just wanted to drop a kayak or a canoe right in this one little section. You could fish this all day long and just be very content. Right through there is kind of a swampy area, and water actually cuts through there, and it's fairly deep. I've been up in there. I haven't caught any fish up in there, but it's very fishy looking and my son has caught a bowfin and also some crappie just in this area right off the dock. And I see bait busting right over there. Here's a view from the end of the dock looking back towards the parking. Hey, over there's Big Red. I will tell you this, I've been out here a couple times when the North Carolina Wildlife Ranger was here and I don't know what they were doing, what they were checking. I saw them talking to several people. So if you're fishing, it's probably a good idea to have your fishing license on you. And if you're in a boat and everything like that, it's probably a good idea to have all your safety equipment and the required number of PFDs, etc., because they will show up here. Well, that was kind of cool the guy pulling out in that car he was here from the county and he was shooting a video for a PSA that they're getting ready to do so I met him he was doing some video shooting it was pretty cool now right here would be an awesome place I think to do a little bank fishing there's a lot of structure right out there in the water and I've seen stuff hitting the water but right there there is a great spot to bank fish. Here's what I mean. See the, the old pole out in the water there? I think there used to be a big dock here. And there's more poles and there's part of some type of huge dock structure. But that is probably a great spot to throw some live bait and hang on. 
check out this old cypress tree pretty much completely rooted out there at the bottom huge tree but here's a better shot of that old dock going out it's just falling in looks like it would be just some great structure for some fishes I might have to come back here and throw a line and just see what's hanging around those pylons now I have no idea where this little trail is going should I go walk it a little bit hmm yep I'm gonna have to I need to see where it goes I got to be on the lookout for mr. no shoulders also and in case you don't know what mr. no shoulders is that's a snake so yes it leads to another spot over here to where you could do a little bank fishing and there's a big old tree that has fallen over might be a spot for crappy but yeah nice and cool right here you can stay in the shade yeah this is great I have this strange urge to do a Tarzan yell. I don't know why. Hey, there's Big Red right there, waiting patiently for me to finish my exploration. She is a good girl. A 1960 glass drawn guy paid a hundred bucks for this boat and it looks amazing. He asked if I'd help him get it in the water, so of course I will. A really cool looking boat. Looks like it ought to be in a James Bond field. He said he hadn't had to do any work on it. And the motor's the, uh, the original. A Mercury 65 horsepower. There he goes. So wildlife did show up while I was here. I think they've been here every time, but the guy was real nice. And as long as you got your stuff together, you're legal. You're not gonna have any problem with these guys. Well, it's hot and I'm sweating. So there you go, there's the uh, boat launch tour at 940 Port Terminal Road in Greenville, North Carolina. Home of the East Carolina University Pirates, by the way. Okay, y'all, I'm going to find something cold to drink and some shade. I'll see y'all later.